So hey everybody, we're back in the repair shop at Pages, and I've got my piccolo trumpet here that Kevin's gonna work on and clean. It's nice, a yeah, nice Yamaha, Yamaha custom. Yeah, 9835. Yeah, really nice yeah. horn. Plays great. So we're gonna kind of follow Kevin along as he cleans this thing up and gets it going. All right. So the first thing we do always is just kind of take a good look at it. Um, horns come in. We check all the. We check all of the uh, solder joints. We want to make sure all your, your your throw slides are good and loose. So that one's actually really good. Um, all the slides are moving. Everything seems to be really good on this this trumpet. Josh is taking really good care of it. Good job. What we're right, gonna do today? Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna break this down and do a cleaning on it. And as we put it back together, we'll do another check on everything, slide movement, check the valve alignment, and then we uh, do final grease and wipe down, plate test, and good to go. I like to take all the slides out, take take all the slides out before I take the valves out, just in case the slide is stuck. If you have to use any kind of force, I like to make sure the valve is in place to keep the valve from getting pulled out of, out of brown. So it's, an, it's kind of an important step in taking things apart. So we, we take all the slides out. Uh, Third slide is nice. It's getting a little, a little gooey yeah. in there. Yeah. I don't know if I'm gonna sit down for this. If I have to sit, if a slide's a little stuck, I always sit down. Get a little bit more leverage. You notice on the second slide on a piccolo, there's nothing to pull there. It's raised in that way. There's that. So I've got all the slides out. I'll take all the, the rubber. Uh, Plastic thing off. There's that. And bottom caps. Caught it. That's why we wear aprons. <laughs> One of the many reasons we wear aprons. All right, so I'll just do a quick wipe down body before we take it back. Ideally you want as much grease off of the horn before you take it into the washing process just because if there's grease on something that needs to get washed out chances are it may not get washed out so we like to make sure everything gets a good cleaning so if you need a, some repair fuel Waterloo grape sparkling water. Now this is sponsored <laughs> Gotta work that stuff. Just use a little denatured alcohol or some kind of solvent to wipe down the slides. Got the lead pipe. All right, you got your A. Do you have your B flat in the pipe? Oh yeah. You want to grab it out of your case? I'll wash that too. Here. I think yeah, I've got it. Trumpet players have so much stuff. I do like to take some things off. Professional horns, just to make sure they don't pink up a little bit. The washing process, so I'll take this off. Thanks, sir. And if you don't mind throwing them off, please. Absolutely. So I'll take that off. And I'll take apart the valves so we get everything clean on the inside. And I like to keep everything in order, especially on a professional instrument because once they get played a little bit, they start wearing in in a certain way to that certain player. And so I like to keep those in order. Not to mix up finger buttons and stems and valve guides. So keep those in order. And now I got a little basket here. It's got no like these are all clean, ready to go in. So Gonna take off the spring and throw that in. That doesn't need to be clean. All right, so now we are ready to go into the sink room, which we like to call the sanctuary. It's gonna get a little loud.
All right, so I think we are ready now. Eggs there. Put it down in solution, and now it gets loud. All right, so we'll do a little power brush. Like I said, I don't really use anything gritty on a nice instrument. Uh, just use soap. In and out. Tendency on piccolos is they only get played a couple times a year. And so when they sit in their cases, even though they've been well-maintained, Right where the valves sit in the up position, there can be a nice little crust line that grows on the inside. So we gotta take care of that and help, that helps get that out of there. So, just about done. Just that, and brush out the slides. where we make the slides look really nice. You know, you may think that you want that to be super shiny, but actually you don't. You want it to be um, clean and slightly roughed up. So more of a satin look. And that's it. that goes with valves too. You don't want shiny valves. You want valves to have that real nice, even satin matte look because on the surface, you want there to be tiny little grooves, which microscopic grooves, and that's caused with it. That's, evident with the satin finish because that's what's going to hold your oil in place. If you if everything is shiny, if your valves are shiny, you're going to notice that the oil is, you're going to have to oil your valves a lot more because the oil is just, there's no surface for it to catch. So it's just going to run off to the bottom of your valve, valve caps. And same with your, your tunable parts of the instrument. You want there to be a matte finish uh, and not shiny because that's going to hold your tuning like grease in place. So, so something like that. Nice matte finish. All right. We'll go dry. Let's do a quick wipe down first. Make sure we don't get any, too many water spots. This may be loud in your ears. It's gonna get loud. <laughs> uh, Back to the bench. All right, so now we are going to reassemble. Sorry, I got a little bit of a mess here. Just do another final inspection here. Try the, the slide here just to. Yeah. That's what you want your, what I call throw slides to do when they're real grease on them. That means when you put grease on them, they're going to be silky. All right, so now we reassemble. This already has a precision valve alignment on it. That's why I kept it. There's no need to change those pads. I will check them just to make sure that they're still accurate, but chances are they are.
All right, so I'll just do a quick check, make sure they go on the bottom. All right. Should fall in nice and easy, yep, with no oil. Awesome. Number two. Number three. Number four. All right, and Josh here uses five star oil. So I'm gonna use uh, the player's preference if it's a, if they have a preference. Which we have in stock, yep. Yeah. I just like to pull it out just enough to where you see the gray part, put oil there and it distributes itself this way, if you take it out any further, you don't have, you don't risk like, you know, dropping the valve or whatnot. This will do, we'll do all the work. Lock those in place. Do a quick blow. Got something wrong. I think it was just those two. So it does make a difference which way the valve is in. If you go to play your trumpet and or your trombone or your tuba or euphonium or baritone or French horn or anything with a valve, if you go to blow it and uh, no air gets through it. Chances are the valve is turned, one of their valves is turned the wrong way. If it's not that, you probably got something stuck in your horn. There we go. All right, so we got that. Put some valve caps on the bottom. Feels good. Start putting slides together and then we'll wipe it down a little bit, play it, and then wipe it down some more, and that'll be it. Got some deep impressions that are going to start cracking. And... Original spring is still quite good, so I'm going to put that back on. I'll put a freshwater heat cork in here because this one is. alignment sometimes the water key is it, it's functioning but the pad cup is like this or like this or the whole thing's been over this way and you're like oh horn doesn't play right well let's check the water key cork and we have several different sizes that we used a couple different thicknesses just to make sure we have the right thing Grease up some slides. Get some heavy light here. It's a little thicker for this. So I'll put some nice thin oil on there. Put the little 
rubber band. Let's see it under here if I can. Nope, not on this bottle. And then you had your A pipe in, right? Put a little grease on there. Just make sure that it doesn't move. What you don't want as a trumpet player, especially on piccolo, is uh, this joint to be loose because if you start playing, you don't want the this to slip and then you mount your old horn goes into your face next thing you know you got teeth problems so that one feels really good just gonna wipe off wipe it down a little bit have josh give it a play test how about that are you warmed up i am definitely not warmed up for piccolo So let me hand this back to you.